Hey guys, just wanted to run through with you today about the 10 best root apps that I found for your Android devices. Um, I'm going to be using my Samsung Galaxy S5. As you've seen in previous videos, um, it is rooted so I can show you these tweaks. Let's begin. Number one is an app that I like to think is one of the most used apps on my phone. Wanam. Exposed. Basically, this allows you to customize any part of your Android system. Um, it's cut into different categories for your Android system, and I have used it a lot to modify. As you see, you have got plenty of options in each category, and this allows for total personalization. The second app that I wish to show you guys is Exposed Installer, which you can use to install a number of apps and tweaks for your device. So this basically writes into the framework and installs modules. I have three such downloaded at the moment, one of them being WANAM, which you saw earlier. And you need this app, Exposed Installer, for WANAM to work but there are plenty of downloadable apps and tweaks that you can download as you can see. The third one I wish to show, share with you guys is Set CPU, which I believe is a free app off of the App Store and if I can find it I'll demonstrate here we go, Set CPU this app allows you to change the CPU of your Android device from 370 megahertz all the way up to 2457 megahertz. Now this can be really useful if your device is lagging as it will force it to be faster. However, this can vastly drain battery life. Okay. Next one is a similar app called SD Booster. This works similar to set CPU in that it speeds up the device. However, this speeds up the SD card and the micro SD card. So, as you can see there, the cache has been set to 300 and 600, meaning it is a lot faster. The next one is a multitasking app called LMT. Now, if I just go to it, there are plenty of options. And what this allows you to do is touch the side of your phone and it gives you a lots of shortcuts for different apps. So I have my music down there, kill all apps, keyboard, options, camera, Facebook, Play Store, YouTube and Messaging. Now this can be really handy as it is literally just a tap, a swipe and you're on. Number six is an app called Freedom which when ran allows, allows you to buy in-app purchases for free. I would be doing a video on this later today or tomorrow but basically as long as the app has a server in your phone so it doesn't use an online server to register the payments you should be able to use it. Folder mount is my next one which allows you to install more apps than you normally would as instead of installing this to your phone it installs it straight to the SD card. This can be handy as it allows for a lot more room as you can install the entire app onto the SD card, not just your phone. So if you look, I've got a lot of apps and a demonstrate a proof of this is that my SD card thinks that I have only used 9.5 9.9 gigabytes when in fact I have used far much more than that so if I sort by sites 
there you are, 2 gigabytes, 2 gigabytes, one and a half. And this allows me to download a lot more apps than I would normally have been able to. Next one is Greenify, which is a handy app because it stops apps running in the background and starting automatically. So if an app is using up a lot of storage or a lot of RAM or even draining a lot of battery, you can use this to stop it and kill it. This is very handy and I've realised that ever since I started using it my battery life has increased dramatically as the background processes have stopped. Root Browser is my next one. Now, if I can find it, this allows you to access all the files on your system. This can be handy if you want to edit the actual files straight from the system or if a regular file manager will not let you access certain parts which you need to access, so that can be handy. And my last one is root browser, sorry, battery doctor. If I can find that one. Now, this is both a root app and it isn't a root app in that you can use it without having to root. However, you gain much more functionality and it is a lot better to have it, have your device rooted and use this on a rooted device. This allows you to set modes, so at automatic times or when your battery runs low, you can set it to turn certain system functionalities off or on. This can also save a lot of power, so it's diagnosing, draining fast, so start optimizing, and it allows you to close some of the apps that have been running. This is very handy and can again increase battery life. So that was my top 10 for root apps. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. See you next time.